AES Silver Fang here today bringing you my Lights One deck profile. Let's start off with the main deck first. First we're running Triple Judgment Dragon, Boss Monster of the deck, cannot be normal summon or special summon unless you um, have four more Lights One monsters with different names in your graveyard. Basically you pay 1000 life points to destroy everything on the field but himself and then end phase mill four cards. Next we're running Triple Raiden. Raiden, Raiden here is a level 4 warrior, so you can search out Rota. Uh, you can mill 2 cards and end phase mill 2 more cards. Basically, he's your big play. You use him for level 8 synchros, level 7 synchros, and you can also use him to do rank 4s. Next, we're running Triple Lumina. Lumina here is because um, you can combo use a combo with her with her effect. Her effect is basically you ditch a card, special summon a um, light swarm monster from your graveyard, but you have to have a light swarm monster in your graveyard to ditch a card first. If you have two of her in your hand and a light swarm monster, like another Lumina, you can do a combo with her. You can go uh, Lumina, to, um, discard Lumina, special summon Lumina, discard another card to special summon another light swarm card, usually another Lumina or a Raiden. She's really good and then end phase you mill three cards. Next you're running Triple Wolf. If Wolf is sent from the um, deck to graveyard using a spell or monster effect you can special summon it. Really easy to do rank falls or level 8 synchros. Next you're running Two Fearless. Fearless is basically like Wolf but you have to mill it using a monster effect. You, you can also um, tribute her, pop a monster on your opponent's side of the field and um, mill and add three more cards. Next we're running Double Minerva, Baby Minerva. Running her because if you mill her you mill an extra card, that's basically it really. She's also another, another name for Judgment Dragon. One Lila and one Garoff. I might bump Lila to one more and I'm running one more Garoff because you can do Lumina and Garoff combo. Plus there are also other names for Judgment Dragons as well. For my other monsters we're running Free Tales, Free Fairy Tales Snow. Best monster of the deck, banish seven cards from the from your side of the field, hand or graveyard, to special summon her and a book of moons your opponents. Running two photo on Thrasher, running two photo on Thrasher because if you control no monsters, you can special summon it. It's really good to do rank fours and level eight synchros. Running two Eclipse Wavens, two Eclipse Wavens just because you can search uh, banish JG and then banish this with lights uh, with Fairy Tale Snow, and you can get your AU uh, Judgment Dragon to your hand. Running two Gem Knight Garnets for the uh, Gem Knight. Uh, burnt fusion engine. People usually run it at one. I like running out two just in case you mill it or accidentally have it in your hand like you draw it. So two for me is perfectly fine. Next for the last of our monsters we're running one trick clown and one Alex Banner turtle. I'm thinking of bumping up trick clown to one more but we'll see. Next I'm gonna do my spells, running triple solar recharge and triple, uh, double charge light brigade. You have to run these at max because this is a light swarm deck. Solar recharge, you deta uh, s discard a light swarm, draw two, mill two, basically you draw power and your milling power. Charge a light brigade, to send top three, search for a light swarm, so it's basically your milling and your searching power. Next we're running Triple Burn Fusion for the Burn Fusion Engine. Double Instant Fusion for Norden. Double Twin Twister, because this deck hates back row. One Monster Incarnation to um, send a card from your hand to the graveyard to grab a JG, JD, or whatever else you need. One Foolish Wolf, send Wolf, send Trick Clown, such Electromagnetic Magnetic Turtle, anything you need. One Rota to search out Photon Fracture or Raiden. And for my Tetch card, we're running one Metaphose Fusion. Basically, if you have this in your graveyard, basically you can draw a free card by shuffling it back into your deck.
for the extra deck, I'm running for the rank first, we're running one Dante and one Levier. Running Dante because I don't have Minerva until July and Levier because you can grab anything you banish with Fairy Tail Snow. We're running one Teskiomi just to fix dead hands, one Emerald to recycle JD or any other cards you need, one Abyss Dweller for graveyard effects, the Utopia package, number 39 Utopia and Lightning just to get over big monsters that JD can't. For the seven, level 7 Synchros, we're running one Michael and one Arcanite Magician. Arcanite Magician, pretty good. Um, you can pop two cards on the field, on your opponent's side of the field. And Michael, you can just banish one card by paying 1,000 life points. For level 8 Synchros, we're running one Stardust Spark Dragon and one Scarlet Red Dragon Archer Fiend. Spark saves himself when you JD the field and Skylight um, destroys all special summon, mon special summon monsters on the field and burn your opponent for 500, so pretty good for game. For more fusions, we're running one Norden and one Seraphonite. This deck, um, I'll be profiling it every couple of months or so, or every time I do a massive change. Light Swarms are basically my favourite deck because it can change so much depending on the format, it can adapt to anything and I can't wait for Link Summoning so I can test it out, change the deck how I want to match Link Summoning. Um, there's a lot of other cards you can add in this, a lot of cards you can bump or downgrade if you want. I've only been playing this deck for four months and it is really a fun deck to play and it can be competitive at some times. But yeah, that's my Light Sworn deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next time.